<clears throat> hey everybody, here I am in Moscow, Russia. I'm in the uh, eastern part of Moscow and I'm at a park and inside the park is Korchba. It's a, uh, it's a famous restaurant uh, franchise around Moscow. Uh, good food, decent prices, uh, good quality food and uh, it's, it's pretty popular. I've been here many times. I know the head chef at this one, Vladimir. Hello, Vladimir. Uh, he's working right now, so I'm not sure if I can get him on the video. He's really busy. There's a lot of people inside, so he's running around and all. he's trying to keep me company, but he's also working. So uh, maybe I can get him on this video. But anyways, um, so Korchma, it's uh, East Slavic cuisine, okay? Okay, without going into a whole history of Slavic culture or anything like that, there's basically East Slavic, West Slavic, and South Slavic uh, cultures, but there's also some sub-Slavic uh, peoples uh, around Eastern Europe and, uh, here, I'm in the way, uh, Eastern Europe and Russia, and uh, so this restaurant inside it's kind of ukrainian style uh like atmosphere ambiance whatever you want to call it but the food is uh is east slavic food now basically russians belarusians and ukrainians they're all considered east slavic uh people and so uh but inside it's more ukrainian style but the food is uh, its pretty much all Slavic uh, cuisine. So uh, here comes some cars and a lot of people. So let's go inside. No. Ah, спасибо. Thank you. Okay. So we are inside. And you can see how it's got a lot of Ukrainian like pictures and posters and atmosphere. And you get some free samples right there. And so yeah, let's cruise inside. Hello. <laughs> my name is Maxime. What's your name? My name is Chris. Maxime? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, I like this restaurant. Good restaurant. See, a lot of people are very friendly here, and you can see like the uh, the, uh, the employees, the workers, they're dressed up in like traditional uh, outfits and stuff. So, and they have all uh, different languages, you know, for the menus and stuff. So let's let's cruise upstairs. It's a big place. So let's cruise up here. I'm not gonna walk around and bother people. They're trying to eat and stuff. Well, but I just wanna show you. Just around right here. So you can see like how it's all decorated, Ukrainian style, but uh, like I said, 
the food is uh, Eastern Slavic food. So here I am right here. So we got some borscht. And we got some dumplings right there. And we got some bread. All right. Let's sit down. <laughs> so, this is typical, uh, typical uh, Slavic food, Eastern Slavic food. So you got some borscht and then some dumplings. And the bread there, you put this, it's pork fat, pork fat and garlic, and you put it on the bread. So, let's do that right now. So, right here, grab some of that. Here we go. Really good. Really good. Some sour cream. Sour cream in the borscht. Okay. Right there. And yes, uh, my buddy Vladimir, he cooked all this for me right here. So yeah, he's like the head chef here. So let's see how it tastes. It's good. It's good. Good borscht. Mm. Good job, Vladimir. Good job. And here, it's not beer. It's kvass. Uh, no, kvass is uh, it's like wheat bread drink. So it's non-alcoholic. So, and then we have some dumplings right here. And yes, you throw you throw on some sour cream on the dumplings. <laughs> Let's try it out. Mm. Good job, Vladimir. Tasty food. So. All right. <clears throat> it's time to relax. Eat some food. Beers are coming later <laughs> when Vladimir gets off, like in about an hour. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do some drinking and eating more uh, Slavic food. So, all right. Baka. <laughs>